Ladies and gentlemen, the story behind this rare photo of a meeting between General Idi Amin. I said General, that is long before he became a field marshal. And Field Marshal John Akello, the man who became a field marshal directly after a nine hour battle in the streets of Zanzibar, is that it was the only meeting and the last meeting that took place be between the two men. The story about John Okello has never been complete, not knowing where he went to. In with, Field Marshal John Okello was the leader of the Zanzibari Revolution of January. 12th, 1964. Having traveled across East Africa from Albertong in Lira district in Uganda to Soroti, Mbale, Kisumu, Nairobi, Mombasa, and then Pemba to Zanzibar, he ended up being the de facto leader of Zanzibar on 12th January 1964. John Okello was a very ambitious man in his childhood. John Okello desired to join the army that is the King African Rifles. But he was dissuaded by the British administrator who ensured that he was sent back to his mother in Lira. Journey across portions of East Africa were inspired by desire to seek better livelihood. Mother and father died at an early age, forcing his brothers and sisters to be distributed to different homesteads of relatives. Okello could only manage primary four level of education. Down in his heart, he desired to further his education. He got opportunity to attend adult education classes in Eastlands in Europe. When he managed to cross the Indian Ocean, traveling from Wasini to Pemba, it was an illegal undertaking. Drawn by the desire to work in the spice industry in Pemba and Zanzi. Pemba, where he honed his skills in union activities and politics. Determination was to support extremism in Zanzibar, aimed at overthrowing the Sultan of Zanzibar. When he succeeded in overthrowing the Sultan of Zanzibar through his command of an army of between 600 and 800, he fell out with the powers that be in Zanzibar. President Julius Nyerere maneuvered with his friend Sheikh Abed Karume to block John Okello from going back to Zanzibar after he had traveled there for a meeting with uh, Dr. Nyerere. From then on, Okello became a hunted man in East Africa. The revolution took place at a time when East Africa had been shaken by army mutinies in Tanganyika, Kenya, and Uganda. When he moved to Kenya, authorities had been alerted about the danger posed by him to national security. The two months in which he was de facto president and was controlling his army, Okello had the opportunity of meeting with the presidents, prime ministers, cabinet secretaries, this included President Julius Nyerere of Tanganyika, Prime Minister Jomo Kenyatta of Kenya. Remember, Kenya had not become a republic yet. He also met with Prime Minister Mfaume Kawawa of Tanganyika. He also met with the Prime Minister, Dr. Milton Obote of Uganda. He had an opportunity to meet with Julius Kiano, Joseph Murumbi, and the Cheng Onek of Kenya. A man who was a danger to East Africa. Spurgeon ended up in Kampala where surveillance forced him to go to Lira, his home district. At one time, he managed to cross into Congo. He came back to Lira. The government of Dr. Milton Obote kept on suspecting him. General Service Unit, that is the Uganda General Service Unit, led by Akena Adoko, Obote's cousin and head of intelligence service, pressed a cordon on him. When Idi Amin came to power in January 1971, he sought for a meeting with John Okello, had been promoted from Major General to General, full General. Okello declared support for the government of Idi Amin. He complained that he had been placed under surveillance by Dr. Milton Obote's General Service Unit. Milton Obote 
feared is an unexplained capacity to mobilize a small army to the to overthrow the Sultan of Zanzibar. Years that followed, Uganda had a bad experience with mutinous soldiers. And most of these soldiers actually came from north of Uganda. Them had been redeployed back into the army. Although the case in Tanganyika and Kenya was different, they were put on trial. A number of them lost their jobs. Sixty-six, there was a crisis in Uganda when the Kabako was overthrown. Nine, there was an attempt to assassinate Dr. Milton Obote. Seventy, the army deputy commander, Brigadier Okoya, was assassinated while in Gulu, while the security apparatus at machination. Kelo met with Amin at parliament buildings. He was assured of his security. However, it is possible that Amin became wary of Okelo, especially his secret capacity. Lies an army and the rebellion against him. January 1971, on to July to 1972 and 1973, there were a series of uh, uh, massacres that were carried out against uh, Choli and Lango tribesmen in the army and in the civilian population. It appears that uh, Okello uh, could decide to join a small group of exiles in Uganda uh, to plan an overthrow of uh, Idi Amin. What happened from eyewitnesses was that Okello was seized by an army soldiers, and uh, not before he informed women who had witnessed his arrest. Time, most of the persons who were arrested in the north were shot and thrown into Machishan Falls. Bodies were never found. It is clear that there are few soldiers who served in the regiment that took part in assassinations who were in, probably in their 70s and 80s and 90s, who could be willing to share with the clue of what may have happened to John Okello. Others of the Gulu Air Base may be able to shed some light on this. Who served the Malire Mechanized Unit and the dreaded State Research Bureau could also provide an answer. Recently, the killing of Brigadier Pierino Koya in January of 1970 which for a long time was a mystery for many years, was unearthed. Soldier confessed to have killed him. If you feel that you have been educated, you have been sensitized, on this particular issue, kindly subscribe, hey, comment and give a like.